Farming and rearing animals is a passion and a money venture for many of us out here. But the more we get close to the animals, the more we are at risk of contracting their illnesses. In fact, the coexistence of man and animals is the reason infection causing germs and bacterium have adapted to live in human flesh, thus spreading the same diseases. Anthrax foot and mouth disease, Ebola, and many other diseases occur in both animals and humans. Brucellosis is one of the bacterial infections that affect humans and animals, especially cows and goats. We contract it, most often via unpasteurized milk, cheese, and other dairy products. More rarely, the bacteria that causes brucellosis can spread through the air or through direct contact with infected animals. Roadside meat is a delicacy for travelers, but as you enjoy it, you ought to remember that it is a risk for transmitting diseases such as brucellosis. But traders like Mujuzi Matia here in Insanji say their meat is purchased from authorized points of sale like abattoirs to prevent such catastrophes. <laughs> According to the head of the Uganda Veterinary Association, Dr. Slavia Baluka, most cases of brucellosis in humans go unreported, yet their prevalence is very high. Especially in the cattle corridor, where people interact with animals on a daily basis, where every household almost has an animal. It also tends to be more common in the crossbreeds, where many people have crossed with the Frasians. The prevalence tends to, to go up. So in areas, districts that are having a higher population of the crossbreeds, and also generally that are keeping animals in many households and interact with these animals closely, this disease tends to be uh, quite uh, prevalent. This is because human brucellosis has a wide clinical spectrum, presenting in various diagnostic difficulties because it mimics many other diseases, for example, malaria, typhoid, rheumatic fever, joint diseases, and other conditions causing pyrexia. The disease manifests with continued intermittent or irregular fever, headache, weakness, profuse sweating, chills, depression, weight loss and generalized aching. Brucellosis is highly infectious and also it is a bacteria that we describe as being hardy. Hardy means that it can survive for a long time in the environment. And people most at risk include veterinarians, slaughterhouse workers, farmers and laboratory personnel who commonly get into contact with animals. Processed dairy products can help in preventing and killing off any remaining bacteria that cause infections. But studies show that the consumption of processed dairy products in Uganda is still very low. As Ugandans, we want to eat meat where you see blood is dripping. It's the taste of freshness as far as we are concerned. I have been to other countries like in the U.S. Meat, actually animals that are slaughtered today are not sold today. They may be sold a week later. They are first kept in a cold storage, even before slicing into cuts. That cold uh, chain process alone is helpful in getting rid of a number of organisms. But we still don't have that. At least all the, the modern, uh, I mean the best abattoirs I know in Kampala don't have capacity to do that. Unfortunately for us Ugandans, when you find meat in a fridge, it is a sign that it's not fresh meat. Maybe also because we have a power problem. Because when the power is on and off, Actually, that meat becomes more poisonous, maybe, than the other one also. And that's why meat should be properly prepared. People who work in the abattoirs and the, uh, for us, especially women who cut the raw meat and prepare it, we can be exposed if this animal was slaughtered when it's still had these organisms. Dr. Baluka says brucellosis can be prevented and treated in both humans and animals, but its effects can be lasting. Even after you heal, you remain with some complications in your bones, nervous system, and a number of organs develop 
long-term effects. The symptomatic treatment is if someone the fever is, temperature is very high, and there is severe headache, those will be managed as symptoms. But for the real bacteria, one needs antibiotics. Globally, over 500,000 human cases of brucellosis are reported each year. Walter Mwesije, NTV. Thank you.